Hello everyone. Big game, are we? And I've been tagged, tagged in a YouTube video by uh, Eddie Rolacor. It is games I regularly come back to. And it looks like it was started by Stu over at Generation Pixel. So yeah, he's uh, recently just uploaded a video and uh, he tagged me in it. And I can't remember the last time I'd done a VR to someone, so I uh, thought I'd do one. <laughs> Why not? Free content for you. <laughs> so I've picked out five games. I believe the format is after each game you tag someone else. So I have a list of uh, five people I'm going to tag. Hopefully none of them have been tagged already. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. I don't even know if any of them have actually done a video. They might have already done one. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So let's get into it. Top five games I regularly go back to. Some of these games you're probably not going to be so shocked about. Probably, if you know me well, none of them will be shocked about. So, the first one is a Pokemon game. So, I picked Pokemon Yellow up here, but literally it could be any of them. They're all up there. Red, blue, but even, even some of the newer ones. But um, I picked Yellow because I absolutely love it because you get Pikachu following you around. So, I, I, like, I just like the strategy side of it where you've got to get a good team together. There's no point having all of the same type or six of the same Pokemon. It ain't going to work. You need a mixture of Pokemon. So, to teach them different moves so they all have different types. Hopefully, get two Pokemon having two type moves. One Pokemon having two type moves, should I say. So, you got like, if you, when you got your party of six, you've got 12 different type attackers in there. So, yeah, that is why I love this game. And just going through, beating all the gym leaders. They need to go back to this style of game. I like the open world ones. Legends of Arceus was good, but... Go back to the original Pokemon. And not even the remakes, because the remakes are stupid ones where you've got to flick the ball. You don't even battle them. This is the battle inside of it. This is better. So, a show in a Pokemon game. There's only one person I can tag. None of these really go in order after this. It's just... When I pick this up, I know I'm going to tag. I'm going to tag Martin, the Geek Master. I want to see your top five. Come on, Martin. I guarantee you one of them is going to be a Pokemon game. And there's going to be a lot of FIFAs, probably. But, yeah. Pokemon, FIFAs, and Sonic. That's what I want to see on your channel. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my first one. I'm going to put these now. Just a uh, David Retro Games Play Badly style. And uh, line them up behind us. I don't know if that's going to work very well. So, second game, I absolutely love my driving games. Absolutely love them. But if, if anyone watches me or joins me when I'm playing them, I do something very good in them. That's Crash A Lot. So, the game I regularly go back to, I absolutely love, Destruction Derby. <laughs> Destruction Derby for the PS1. It's got sort of that because I've got the door open, let the fresh air in. But yeah, nothing better than going around smashing people up. I love the actual, just the, the bowl that you fight in. It's battle to the death. Absolutely fantastic. Again, it, this could be one or two that I'm showing, or even Raw. Any one of the three. But I've picked up the first one just to show you. Absolutely love them. Fantastic games. Can't go wrong. And if you do have a bit of skill and you can drive, you can get to the finish line and win every race as well. But I just love destroying people and stopping them getting to the finish line. So yeah, that is that is my uh, second choice, and I'm going to tag Bo Ho Ho, Mr. Ross. But well, so I don't know if you've been tagged already. You're quite a popular guy, so maybe you have. But uh, yeah, I want to see your top five now. This ain't gonna work very well. They're covering each other up. <laughs> so the third game, probably the least surprising game that you're ever gonna see me show. It's a uh, Command and Conquer, and I'm showing you Retaliation. Just because I love playing the skirmish missions, and obviously Retaliation has the most maps, other than the PC versions. The PC versions are a bit different, but with the Command and Conquer series, it's the later games have gone downhill a bit. It's the earlier games. Not so much the first one. The first one was alright, but they never had the skirmish missions. It was when they got to Red Alert. Red Alert onwards. And especially retaliations. Like I say, if you get the PC one, you've got Aftermath and stuff like that. There's all loads of different ones you can get. Join in to Command & Conquer. You've got Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 as well. 
generals, stuff like that. Tiberian Wars, probably downhill a little bit, going into outer space, but yeah, not too bad. Like I say, played it a lot more on the PC than I did on the PlayStation. But if you haven't played it, fantastic time-based war game. Fantastic. Build your army, build your base, defend it and attack all the other people. And of course you've got the missions if you like the campaign modes. But yeah, that is Command and Conquer. These games are in no particular order of what I like, they're just the way I'm just showing them. Uh, after showing that, I'd like to tag Betty Hall Clinic. Bill, get your video out. Get your video out. Now, the next one. Oh, this one, fantastic game. A lot better on the PC, I've got to say. I used to play this years ago on the PC. Absolutely love this game. I've got the PlayStation 1 version here. I think I've got the P have I got the PC version as well? No, I don't think I do. No, I do not have the PC version of it. So that's one name I'm going to have to go and pick up. It's probably only cheap. I'll say that now and I'll go on eBay and it'll be about 100 quid. But um, absolutely love my strategy games. And you can't get no more strategic than Transport Tycoon. Fantastic game. You basically, you run a company and you try and make as much money as possible. You, you, you build up cities, you, you build roads, you build trains, boats, airports. And basically you have to try and you, have to get, you can do buses to transport people around or you get trucks and trains and you can transport like livestock, wood, things like that. Try and show you the back of it if you can. But uh, you can see like the train station being built there, so they're building up the city a little bit there, and that's a farm. So yeah. Fantastic game. If anyone hasn't played it and you do like your strategy games, get yourself out there, get yourself a copy of Transport Tycoon on the PlayStation 1. And uh may I add you might need a bit of muscle to pick this up because uh the size of that manual. Need old Rogi to come pick that up for us. So, uh, that's Transport Tycoon there. And we are going to tag the Retro Bear. Come on, Russ, show us all your Wii games. We want to see all your Wii games coming out of that shelf. You might get an earthquake, like, pulling them out. Although he's been picking up a lot of 8-bit lately, so he might, might show a lot of 8-bit in it. Who knows? And my fifth and final game. This is, this is a collection of all of them. But ideally it was the first game that I played many, many hours. And I'm sure a lot of people did. Again, on the PC. And this is actual PC version of it. This is The Sims. So yeah, the original Sims. Where is it? There. Absolutely fantastic. Get your money. You start off with about 20,000, I think it is. Back then you could put cheats in and you can get unlimited everything. But... um yeah, basically you start off as a single guy if you want, or you can have a family and try and build a family. You get a little bit of money, so you start off with a small house, you get a job. It's basically the game of life. <laughs> Just play it, play it itself. As a kid, you can find out what it was like growing up. So yeah, you keep your sim happy, you train him skills, or her skills, and you, you build them up, get them promoted at work, earn more money. Get bigger house, you can extend your house or you can move out to another house. I used to enjoy just getting them to paint and stuff and then just selling the paintings. You needed them to go work. You could earn more money than painting three or four pictures a day and getting like 200 Sims money a picture per person. So you could end up with like 1600 a day if you've got a couple of people in there. Maybe more than that, who knows? If they're quick at painting, a couple of grand a day. Money soon adds up doing it that way. But yeah, it took a, it takes a little bit of time to train them up to that level. But yeah, you can do it without going to work. Uh, I always enjoyed making a swimming pool, letting them dive in and then taking away the stairs so they can't get out. And just uh, watching them swim around until they die. That was quite fun. <laughs> a bit morbid, eh? But yeah, The Sims, absolutely fantastic. Again, building strategy, game of life, whatever you want to call it. And again, they added all these add-ons with different stuff on it. So you, had, you could go out on dates and stuff and go into the city. You didn't just get stuck in your little area. Because there used to be about 10 houses on the block and that was it. You knew your neighbours. And that was about all you knew. And then they added so many add-ons. So we'll try and stand this up at the back behind 
Pokemon without it falling over. So yeah, there you go. That is my five games. So if you haven't been tagged, get someone to tag you. <laughs> or just do a video. You don't have to be tagged, I suppose. But uh, the last person I'm going to tag is the man, the myth, the legend, the chicken. Mr. Feed Me Chicken. Get yourself a VR done to this. Mr. Feed Me Chicken. So that is my five tags, my five games. The Geek Master, Boar Ho Ho, Betty Hall Clinic, The Retro Bear, and Feed Me Chicken. Like I say, I don't know if you've already been tagged or not, but you've got to do it now if you haven't. <laughs> there you go. Or if you have been tagged, you've been tagged again. Get the videos out. So thank you, Eddie, for tagging me. And let me know down below if you've played any of them games and if you like them. So that just leaves me to say, thank you for watching. And bye for now.